So this is a really cool fire dragon that I found, um, but it is massive. Uh, there's a chance I don't want to actually, you know, print something this large. Um, maybe I'd like four that are a bit smaller. So in order to do that, you have to click on the object, and then you find this scaling button right here. And let's see, I can try scaling it. Let's just scale it down to 90%. Now I can move it. That's still a little bit big to fit four. So we'll do 60%. That might be a little small. Let's go to 70%. I notice I have uniform scaling turned on. If I didn't, I'd be uh, pulling this all out of whack. All right, so that's looking pretty good. I can now move this here. Now Control-C and V, V, V. And now I can almost fit four on my plate. I gotta move this guy over and this guy over to get it out of that corner. And now I'm good to go. My one note of caution with this is when you are printing something that's articulated like this and gets smaller as the tail gets smaller here, um, sometimes the printer might have a hard time with the uh, smaller points of articulation. Um, you know, if it's made very large, it might be made to be printed very large, and if you make your item too small, it will no longer be able to print with any kind of articulation. So um, if you're going to shrink it down uh, to print in batches, do a test print first of one, and you know if that works, then you're good to go, and you can uh, you know fit as many as you can on your tray. That's my only note of caution uh, when it comes to scaling uh, previously made, previously articulated items, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like uh, in real life.